Hi, my name is and this is uh, something personal between you and me. So uh, I'm gonna tell you about me first. Here. Fucking morons. Where, where was I? I was such a gifted child, you know. I developed overwhelmingly fast. <laughs> By the age of two, I was already fully capable of speech and walking. Sort of a prodigy, still read a lot, but only the big office. I was too intelligent for German school, so. Uh, they sent me to Britain to this uh, famous art school uh, I painted most of the time. By the age of 16 I was old enough to join the Royal Army. They even asked me to join that special task force for chemical warfare. I got to know all those chemical guys and uh, I got myself a reputation, you know. They called me the gas man. I decided to become a scientist. I lost all my hair and grew a beard and started to hang around in laboratories. We did experiments with stuff. The market was huge for that back in the 20s. Get out! Is that yours? Oh, Pratt. World War II. I uh, basically skipped it. That Austrian guy, you know, with the funny mustache. He was quite something. He got rid of unemployment some other stuff but still you know I uh, couldn't stand the thought so uh, I bought this boat and uh, sailed over to America <laughs> America it was easy I mean being a scientist and all I got to know this Jewish guy from Germany <laughs> he needed a haircut we uh, developed a bomb with nuclear stuff they used it on that chink country. Unfortunately, they only did it twice. I expected him to go on, you know, like to... There were so many places on this planet that should have gotten some of it, you know, but... Uh, they just didn't. After World War II, um, the, the government made us rockets for our nuclear bombs so we could fly them over to the commies. That brought my hope back, only temporarily. By this time, this hippie pacifist ran the country. First, he wouldn't do the commies. Then, he started war with the jungle chinks and still wouldn't use our nuclear stuff. I had a vision, you know. Well, we chipped in some money, but hey, he earned it. Politicians, they are pussies no matter what. After all those years of seriousness and science, they had to drop out. Go west, where the fun is supposed to be. I decided to stay for a while, but being a scientist, really isn't your blood. I mean, peace and love and shit, I tried. Started to hang out with this Italian guy I got to know on the beach. He liked music and dancing and I liked him. Developed a, a totally new 
dancing and music style for him made me look at the show business in a more positive way. But then came the unavoidable. This fucking spaghetti disco queen cheated on me. I get nothing. The following months I, I did nothing but watch TV. Well, finally I, I managed to make a new start. I started looking for the cure of AIDS. 89% of the AIDS carriers had TV at home or at least were watching regularly. That couldn't be a coincidence. AIDS is spread by television. I sold the results to this huge pharmacy company and, uh, well, belongs to them. Uh, you guys want a beer? I'm having a beer. With the money from the pharmacy deal, I was uh, set up for the rest of my life. I bought this lovely place. Well, and here I am now. I like sports. I don't like people drinking or smoking. And I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey. I've been eating meat all my fucking life. It's great for you. I like the TV channel where they do it all the time. They know how to fuck. <laughs> I need my regular sleep and I don't want to put up with any bitching or stupid questions. Well, you see, I've had a thrilling life with many rewarding achievements and experiences. And I've come to the point where I really want to settle down and, uh, well, you heard about all the things I've done. I have plenty of money. And I've reached a point where a man has to take a wife and kids. You should be young, white and beautiful. Not too educated. Smart chicks are trouble. And you should be slim. I don't like him fat. Just stick to the things that are right for a woman and we'll get along just fine. I'll promise I'll be good for you. Just call me. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>